we came out looking like a hot class street walker honey Hi, ladies and gentlemen, I am back for another video and guess what it is Synthetic Saturday. Y'all thought it was Wine and Wigs Wednesday. It's not because I've been uploading late. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this wig. Now, this wig right here was sent to me from Hair Spells. I've done a review for them before and they're basically a synthetic wig company where you can find some really fun I guess cosplay, they have your everyday wigs, they have your fun wigs, they have your colorful wigs. This wig is called the SBLB04. It's the 1B613 synthetic bob wig. So the roots are supposed to be like a 1B and then the hair itself is a 613 color. And the 1B, I don't really know if it's a 1B because it it has a little bit more of a grayish tone. I feel like a 1B is more of a natural brown and I don't know if that's what she's giving me. This wig is a bob wig, but it doesn't really look like the picture, but the picture on here doesn't really show what it actually looks like because it's a really long angle bob. So it comes just like with this curl underneath. It just look like you wearing like a synthetic wig. That basic curl is not for me. But the great thing about hair spells wigs is that you can flat iron it. And I noticed that once I straighten it, it took a little bit of that synthetic sheen away. It feels more realistic, less silky and more yakky. So this wig only comes in 12 inches. There's only one cap size with this wig and it's a little bit large. But once I pull the straps in, it fits perfectly. The cap comes with four combs and adjustable straps at the back. The lace on this wig is very, very soft. It's not like your typical synthetic wigs. The lace is actually as soft as human hair wigs. But let me show y'all what the bag looks like. So if you all want to see exactly what I've done to customize this wig, just keep on watching and then I'll be back. So we're going to start off by using our wig grip and a wig cap to protect our hair and all the products that I use in this video will be listed down below. I'm just going to go ahead and try on the wig, see how she fits, see what works for my head shape and I want it to just pop her off my head and comb her through to go ahead and get started on chopping off that lace. So as you can see, this is actually a really, really large cap. So first I'm just going to do like a rough cut of the lace, but we're going to have to cut it a little bit more a little later because my head is really small. So take your time and cut around the lace and cut, cut as close to the hairline as possible. And now I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the excess hair on the bottom. Even though I do like this bob style, it doesn't really fit my face. So I wanted to make it a little bit shorter which makes it look a little bit more realistic on me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off those ends. Synthetic hair is really tough to cut, so take your time, girl, take your time. And we're just gonna take a look at it and then start sizing away the sides that we're gonna cut that is excess lace in the front. So we want it to look a little bit more natural. I don't want my hairline touching my eyebrow. That's not the look I'm going for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chop away that excess lace on that side. This hair has plenty of hair on it. Well, this wig has plenty of hair on it. So it's okay for you to just chop away some lace here and there just to make it look a little bit more custom to your head. So we're gonna go ahead and pluck this part here. I'm just gonna go ahead and take little clumps and pluck the hair out of the part to reduce some of the crowding and make it look a little bit more realistic. This takes only a couple of minutes so it shaves time off tweezing. We're also going to use the L'Oreal Magic Root Cover Up. I used the one in light golden brown and I'm just going to go ahead and spray it on the wig cap to tint the lace so it fits my skin tone because this lace is a little bit light. So now that we're placing it on our head, we get to actually style the wig. 
I'm just gonna comb it through just to see what it looks like and I decided that I wanted to do some curls but as you can see this wig doesn't actually curl with a flat iron I would suggest you use a curling iron to curl if possible but I've decided that I basically wanted to just flat iron it straight out to make it look a little bit more natural and more sleek and um, I used it the flat iron I think on like 350 375 something fairly low if you do it too high you're gonna melt the hair again this is synthetic hair it doesn't act like human hair be careful when you're flat ironing the hair because it is really really hot um, the fibers of the hair since it is synthetic it takes on the heat so you can end up burning yourself with the hair so take your time but as you can see, it gets really, really silky and looks really, really natural. And I've did like three or four passes with this hair and it looked fine. So what do you guys think? What do y'all think about this wig? What would you have done to make her more you? Would you curled it? Would you have bumped it? Do you like the long angles? Y'all let me know what y'all would have done because this is... This is how it works for me. So all in all, I really do like this wig. I think people think synthetic wigs are shake and go. I don't think any wig is like that. Even the cheapest wig can look more realistic if you were to just customize it to your face. If y'all wanna check out hair spells, please click the link down below. Check out their website. And if you have any questions, leave them down below as well. I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye.